friends welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat West Bengal India this is a cataract with posterior synechia the patient had several attacks of anterior uveitis and there is posterior synechia at several places I have taken up this case for surgery let us observe the surgical steps this is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratom and now only one side port has been done in this case about three clock hours away from the main incision this is the side port now the plan is to stain the anterior capsule with tripan blue dye and before that I inject an air bubble behind the air bubble I inject the dye in the anterior chamber and behind the iris otherwise the staining will be only in the visible area so now the staining will be good now the dye is washed out with BSS this step should be done otherwise there will be a lot of trapped tripan blue behind the iris you can see some unstained areas those are the areas of synechia so by the simco cannula itself the posterior synechia have been broken otherwise we can use an iris spatula for this purpose and now visco is injected into the anterior chamber the anterior chamber is underfilled and some visco is injected behind the iris to make a room behind the iris because the plan is to use a people expansion device and the people expansion device I have with me is this this is B hex people expander invented by Dr. Subhan Bhattacharji of Kolkata this is a very thin device it's a uniplanar device it is the flanges and notches alternate flanges will go behind the iris so the device is taken completely into the anterior chamber by this BHX forceps and the leading flange is tucked behind the iris and the flange at on o'clock is held and it is also tucked and now I go through the left side port hold the middle tab of the flange at 10 o'clock and tuck it and the B hex is applied the people has taken hexagonal shape now the anti capsule is incised and a uterita forceps is taken this capsular tag is held and the capsular tag is guided anticlockwise along the margin of the hexagonal people and thus we get a rexis of about 5 millimeter and this is an adequate sized rexis yes we can see that the cataract is not hard it is a soft cataract nuclear sclerosis is say grade 2 or grade 2 plus this is hydro dissection BSS is passed just under the anterior capsular rim the nucleus floats the nucleus is tapped fluid is injected at multiple areas the nucleus has been tapped and now the nucleus is rotating and now visco is again injected and now is the time to introduce the FECO handpiece the tip of the FECO needle goes into the anterior chamber with its bevel down I am in FECO 2 mode where the vacuum is high about 450 and I'm aspirating some superficial cortical lens matter and now the handpiece is turned bevel is off 
and now the vacuum is reduced to about 400 the tip is buried the nucleus is held at the center where the nucleus can be held if we go be beyond the central area we cannot hold it because the nucleus is softer beyond the central area so gentle hold just engage the tip and chop the nucleus each nuclear fragment is emulsified with ultrasonic energy and the nuclear pieces are removed this is the last piece of nucleus yes it is removed the epinucleus also has come out and now visco is injected 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is injected again to fill up the anterior chamber since I have only one side port I'm going to use Simcoe cannula we can use coaxial irrigation aspiration also the size of this side port is about 1.6 millimeter if we make two side ports of 1 millimeter each it is about 2 millimeter and two incisions but on side port 3 clock hours away will reduce the astigmatism induced by the main incision and now the cortex is removed visco is injected in this case we have selected hydrophobic acrylic intraocular lens from Apasami Associates this is super four there is a yellow tinge the nuclear the lens ejected very rapidly almost like a bullet but it was over the iris so didn't cause any disaster and then now the lens is being placed in the capsular bag and now I inject visco again apply some visco over the cornea and check whether the eye well is in the bag or not with the help of this Sinsky hook yes we can hook the rexis margin at the haptic optic junction if we can hook the rexis margin at the haptic optic junction which it means the intraocular lens is in the capsular bag and now in this case there was some problem in removing the BHEX and this is the first time it occurred all the flanges are untucked and as I pull the BHEX appears stuck at the main incision so what I do is I inject a Simco go above the BHEX so that it doesn't rub the cornea and gradually pull it out and now it has come out and now a thorough lavage of the anterior chamber and the capsular bag is done by this Simco cannula at this time I am just irrigating not aspirating just irrigating fluid through the aspirating port as well as there is irrigation from the side so double irrigation and by this this is irrigation of the capsular bag by this irrigation itself most of the visco comes out
So this is the way to remove visco. We can use by manual irrigation aspiration also for removal of visco. And now the sideboard is closed by hydrating corneal stroma with bases on either side of this stab wound. And now since this is a case of post eviatic cataract, this is a bit of canacot. Inject canacot, wait for a few seconds and then wash out the canacot. Whatever few molecules of canacot remains after this washout will reduce inflammation a lot. This is my personal experience. I don't think it has been described in... Since we can inject trypsinolone in case of PC rents, we can inject and aspirate in these cases also. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.